Going back to the password and username program. If I run it, ha, I'm going to call my password Cal. And I'm going to do my username as Apple. The problem is this. Let's do it again. And I want my password to be wrong, so I'm just going to do it here. It's not giving me a chance to enter in another password. It just goes to error. If I type a username, error. It's not saying, okay, great, you got it wrong. Have another go. It's just saying error and moving on. What I want it to do is, if I type in a password, which is incorrect, I want it to say to me, wrong, please do it again. So we're not going to use ifs. And we're not, yeah, so we're not going to use ifs. What are we going to use instead? Pause the video, have a think about it, you've done it before. What are we going to use again? Which we're going to keep asking the question over and over again until we get it right. Correct. While loop. I want you to create a while loop so you keep asking a question over and over again, i.e. please enter in a password, until we enter in the correct one. Pause the video, give it a go. Okay, here's the solution. So whilst the length of password is less than, let's say, 5. I'm going to give it a this code. We're going to say print error. And then I give them another chance to do it again. Please enter a suitable password. More than 5 characters. And if they get it right, so if they get it right, they'll break the loop and we'll move on to this code. So if I run it, my password is S, S, O, Who? Okay, so try a different cat password, let's type in Milan Rules. I love Milan, great place to go to. If you've never been to Milan, lovely, very hot weather. Good password. Now let's enter my username. But I'm not, it's not doing the same for username. So what I want you to do is fix it so it does the same for username as well. It keeps asking until we do a suitable username. When you've done it, show your teacher.